Hello and welcome to section 2 in which we will be making objects persistent with Python. So first we will be looking into Python's pickle module, then we'll be using JSON, after that we'll be storing data in our SQLite database, then we'll serialize using PyJaml, then we'll be using Shelf, after that we'll be passing XML, we'll be reading and writing CSV files and in the end we'll be uh, reading and writing to Excel. So in this video, we'll be serializing Python objects with pickle in binary format. Pickle ships with Python. Here's the official documentation from Python. We'll be dumping and loading Python objects. We'll be trying to pickle two different classes into one file. We'll be looking into Python's dictionary and we'll also be looking into Python's get state and set state special methods. So Python, pickle ships with Python, this is the official website from Python, the standard library. And notice this warning here, pickle module is not secure against erroneous and maliciously constructed data. So there's a limitation here, so don't trust foreign sources. But other than that, it's great, and this is a good uh, documentation website. Pickle was especially designed to work with Python. It's not really meant to work with other languages. So let's start to pickle. To pickle an object means to serialize it, and that means to save it out of memory and uh, to be able to restore it. And let's start with a simple class, a class we've been using before, Python class, which has one method. And the first thing we do is we import the pickle module. We don't have to install it, chips with Python. And what I've done here is I've created an instance of the class and I passed in the name Bob, and then I'm saying Bob before and get the name, calling the method here. And then what we do is we open a file and we can give it any extension. I give it a .pickle extension, but it doesn't really matter. What does matter is it has to be uh, open in right binary mode. So WB stands for right binary. That's very important. Otherwise things don't work because pickle is a binary format. So we open this file. We are going to create it. It doesn't exist yet. And we open it as Bob file. And then we use a pickle module and we call dump on it. So the first argument here is uh, the object we are passing in, which is the class instance. And the second argument is a file. And that's how you pickle an object, writing it to a file in this case. And to unpickle an object means to read it back from the file and get it back into memory. And yeah, let's just do this. Let's run it. You can see here, print Bob before, Bob get name. His name was Bob. That's the name we passed in, and after we dumped it and then unpickled it, uh, we're calling it on, we open this file, and calling get name on it again, so it's the same object, so the method still works, and it remembers, and that's a part of serialization, it remembers the attribute we passed in, the argument we passed in. So this here is the file we just created, Bob Pickle, and as I said, it's in binary format, so it's not really meant to be readable, it's binary. But surprisingly, when we open it, we can actually see it's just like main and Python class and even Bob here. So one can actually see something in it, but it wasn't, it's not really meant to open it up and look at it. It's meant to write to it and then read it back in. So let's see. Next thing we want to do is let's create a second instance. And this guy we call Bill. So we create another instance of the Python class, passing his in Bill as a name. And I will print out the names. And now we're going to try to write uh, Bill and Bob to the same file. We have two instances, two objects. We write them, we dump them to the same file, and then we load it as we did with the previous one with one object. And then we see if this works. So let's run this. And when we run it, let's see what happens. We can refresh here and make sure our file is really there. And here's two pickle, that's our file. Don't really have to open it. Well, we have Bob and Bill in here, we can even read that. So what we see it's it seems, I mean, it created the file and we can read it. But when we look here, it says Bob after is Bob and Bill after unpickling is Bob. So this doesn't seem to work. That doesn't look good, but not all is lost. We can actually, when we call pickle load to reload serialized data, we can do this, save it in two different instances here. When we run it now, we can see that we got build bags. So this works, but I wouldn't really recommend it. It's really confusing. So it's 
probably much better to create different pickled serialized files for each object or to arrange to design the, the classes differently so, so you don't have to get confused what is what. I just wanted to show that it is possible. There are two special methods uh, that come with pickle. I mean, there are many, but these are the ones we're interested in right now. So it's double underscore get state, which is invoked during the pickling process, during serialization. And the other one is set state, which is when we unpickle and serialize our objects. And there's a special Python dictionary, a double underscore dict, that keeps a track of what items we have created, basically name and the list. So I added a lot of print statements here to see what's going on. So let's run this first and then have a look at it. So we can see in init, the self dot double underscore dict has it's a dictionary name is Bob and items are one and two. I reduced it. I only put out, I mean, I only pass in two now. And then we have the same printout as before. Now before pickling here, that is now before down here. So before pickling, we are here now. And then we can see that we are in get state where we pickle. And the dictionary is a name with Bob and items one and two. And then we fall down here into after pickling and before unpickling. There's this line here. And after this, we fall into set state. So during the unpickling process, the double underscore set state special method gets invoked automatically. And what's important here to notice is that the dictionary during unpickling is empty. That's this one here. And then we can call update passing in the state of the, the way the objects were before we pickled them. We can, we can update the dictionary. And after that, we can see that now the dictionary is filled in with name Bob and items one and two. And now in the loop, we can loop through the items and that's basically the same result we can get here item in set state one and two we can loop them loop through them and then we print out the rest so this if you try something here and then pickle it and it doesn't work suddenly it's not there anymore you get some exceptions that's one way to do it so double underscore get state and set state special methods in this video, we serialized Python objects using the pickle module. First, we had a brief look at the official documentations and noticed the warning. Then we dumped and uh, loaded Python objects, which is pickling them and unpickling them. We saw how we can place two objects in the same file and how that's not a good idea. And in the end, we looked at the special methods get state and set state.